Don't use revelation when you meet a principality. Use obedience. Because when the prince of this world comes to you, if he finds something, you are finished. And so as you journey in the corridor of authority, you migrate from exousia, which is revelation-based, you now come into obedience. He said, when your obedience is fulfilled, then you will avenge other disobedience. Because there are spirits that if you fornicate, when you shout at them, they will give you cancer. Because you are violating spiritual protocol. He said, whoever you yield yourself servant to obey, the servant of him you are, whom you have obeyed. And so if you are standing on a stage, and because people are there, you now begin to command a spirit that is your master. He will be offended with you personally. We are in the same kingdom. Don't you understand st st uh, stratification? Kedas. What? I'm supposed to give you instruction. What, what were you trying to do? It will knock you. And so when you start walking in authority, you may be quoting scriptures and casting out demons until you now meet a principality. And then the scripture you quote, the principality will now tell you, no, you didn't quote it well. He will now quote it for you. You will now want to say the name of Jesus. He will say, I know Jesus. So you don't even need to call the name. He knows it and he will help you call it. If you want, he will call it in Aramaic. Because the one Paul had in Ephesus was not called in English. He knows the original way the name was pronounced. He can call it for you as Yeshua. And he won't fall down. So when you are dealing with a principality that is not cast out, you will need beyond revelation. Hope you know when he met Jesus on the Mount of Temptation, they were arguing scriptures. If you are the son of God, turn these stones to bread. Man shall not live by bread alone.